your first alert storm center forecast. All right, as we take a look at a regional temperature map here, we got a cold front on off towards the west and out ahead of it, we got a nice southwesterly flow, and that's why temperatures haven't fallen off very fast tonight. We're still going to be out ahead of the cold front for the majority of the night. That's why temperatures are going to have a little bit of an issue falling on off. But once this cold front clears on through in the early morning hours, temperatures will fall off a few degrees back into the lower 30s and upper 30s in the lower elevations. And in the mountains, we're going to see temperatures drop back off into the lower to middle 30s but I think that's not going to happen until probably after 4 or 5 in the morning. Now, this cold front doesn't have any precipitation with it. Pretty much no precipitation. Most of it's up to the north in southwestern Ontario. But what this cold front is going to do is it swings on by. It's going to kick up the winds a little bit. That's why we'll have breezy conditions at times as we head into your overnight hours tonight and for your first part of the day on Sunday. As we time it out here with Futurecast, you'll notice through the overnight hours, no rain to speak of other than a raindrop maybe in the mountains or a snowflake, but all in all, pretty much all of us stay dry. And as we head into the daytime hours on Sunday, pretty much mostly sunny skies other than a few clouds in the mountains. Sunday night as high pressure builds on in, that's going to drop temperatures with the clear skies. Mostly everybody should wake up with temperatures in the 20s on Monday morning. Veterans Day itself, we're looking nice with mostly sunny skies, temperatures in the 50s, and then Monday night in comes the clouds, and then in comes the rain, and then during the overnight hours on Monday into Tuesday, in comes the snow. We'll talk about that in a second. High temperatures today, we're in the upper 50s, close to 60 in the lower elevations, even in the 50s in the mountains. We're still in the lower 50s with a southwest wind in the lower elevations. The mountains have dropped off into the 40s. Elkins, you were at 34 at one point, but you're now up to 50 degrees. Some clouds, breezy at times, a raindrop or a snowflake can't be ruled out in the mountains. Chilly with a west-southwest wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour, and at times gusting up to 30 to 35 miles per hour in the mountains. That will drop temperatures down into the upper 30s and the lower elevations, but like I said, we won't see these temperatures until close to sunrise on Sunday morning and lower to middle 30s in the higher elevations. 51 for your Sunday, 40s in the mountains, Monday 55 degrees, and then for Tuesday we're looking at rain changing over to snow in the morning and then a rain-snow mix on Tuesday afternoon, but Lindsay, it's going to be cold, 37 degrees. Right now I'm thinking an inch in the lowlands and a couple inches in the mountains, but as you can see, the middle of the week, it's going to be a cold one. Lindsay, back to you.